Risk Assessment Hello friends! In this video we will learn about hazard, its likelihood, its consequences and will calculate risk through practical examples. Risk Assessment A risk assessment is a careful examination of anything in your work environment that could cause injury or ill health. Hazard a hazard is anything that has the potential to cause harm. For a hazard to cause harm, a hazardous event must happen. Likelihood. The likelihood is the chance that the hazardous event will occur. Consequence. Consequence is the outcome of the hazardous event. Risk. Risk is the combination of the likelihood of a hazardous event occurring and the consequence of the event. A risk assessment helps to protect you, your workplace, and your business. Did you know how risk of activity action plan is calculated? We will calculate this risk step by step. First step is to list work tasks, including location, people, equipment, and the activities. Step 2 is identify the risk. What are the hazard? Who might be harmed? And how they be harmed? Step 3 is eliminate the risk. For this you need to consider these two things 1. How likely is it that something could go wrong? 2. How serious would the outcome be? Likelihood is to be examined closely while conducting risk assessment. Likelihood of the hazardous event will increase if control measures equipment being used are not effective. This picture shows that likelihood is increasing towards right side due to poor equipment. Consequences. Consequences of the event will increase as we go upward. As it is very clear from the picture shown red color. Risk Assessment Matrix In Risk Assessment Matrix, we will calculate the risk by combining likelihood and consequences. Likelihood chart clearly shows that for any event it will be increasing from left to right side. Whereas, for consequences, it increases from bottom to top. And the risk which is combination of likelihood and consequences increases diagonally right upward with a nomenclature, unacceptable. Whereas at bottom left it will be, acceptable. Which is low risk rating. Now we consider two practical examples for calculating risk step by step. First example is about cabinet market.
In carpentry shop we have a wood cuter which is not properly covered guarded. This hazardous condition may result in sever injury due to high risk level as shown in picture. But if the cutter is guarded covered then risk level will be reduced as in this case likelihood of harm will be reduced. Second example is the painting activity. In mentioned example, high solvent paint is being used which resulted in high risk. As in this case likelihood and consequences are high. But if we replace the paint with low solvent then risk will be reduced as in this case consequences will be reduced. Similarly, another high solvent paint is being used in painting activity. Risk level of this activity is also on higher side as consequences and likelihood are high. Now, if we isolate the activity and reduce the exposure of paint hazard then risk level will be reduced, acceptable as in this case both likelihood and consequences will be reduced. Residual risk. Any risk that remains after control has been implemented is called residual risk. And in below charts we can observe the residual risk of different activities. Risk control strategies. Risk control strategies are based on Eric P. Hierarchy of control. To help decide on the risk control there is a hierarchy of risk control that you can use. Elimination. In first priority try to eliminate the hazard by following the. If the hazard cannot be eliminated, then attempt to reduce potential to cause harm. Isolate. If it cannot be reduced, then isolate the activity using this hazard. And closing the hazard behind a barrier is also an effective way of separating hazards from people. Control. If it cannot be isolated, then administrative controls measures will be implemented. Personal protective equipment is the last line of defense, since it's entirely reliant on employee remembering to wear it. Safe System of Work SSOW. A safe system of work details how activities should be carried out to minimize risk. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe HSE with codes.